I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. We got the crazy hair. I haven't been actually up since 5 a.m. We're headed to a perfect day at Coco Cay. I couldn't resist not getting up for you guys. This is why we cruise. Beautiful. Laura's up. Laura's up. What time even is it? You ready for perfect day? 6.14 in the morning. 6.14, baby. Kyle, why are we up so early? Welcome to cruising. Let's go, baby. Get up. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, what do you think? Beautiful. Well, right now we're currently debating on ordering room service for breakfast or going to the Windjammer. What do you want to do? Let's just go to the Windjammer. Cool, we're gonna go for the wind jammer. Perfect day, perfect day, perfect day at Coco K. Amazing lighting. Real quick, uh, for those who wear contact wearers, because obviously we're wearing our contacts longer than normal, get a pad a day eye drops. Extra strength, this thing works wonders and has helped my eyes on cruise ships a thousand times. We're about to head to breakfast. It's been open since 5.30 apparently. Um, I'm curious to see how many people are going to be there at 6.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, let's go eat and then I think we'll be docked and probably head on out and just explore and have have a what kind of day, Laura? A perfect day at Coco Cay. Hello, Mona Lisa. I think we're the first people up on the cruise ship. This is how you cruise. Get up before everybody else. Beat the Look crowd. at this. So that means we can take the elevator. Nope, I'll catch you up. What floor? Uh, go to 10. Look at that. No one's even on the promenade either. Love this. Laura's taking the elevator, everybody. That is a big, big no-no. I wasn't running. Okay, let's go across. This is the spa. In the gym. We ain't working out. <laughs> Good morning. Independence of the seas. And there she is. Perfect day, baby. Perfect day. Oh my goodness. Look at that sunrise. That's a Norwegian ship, by the way. I've never been on that line. Wow. I believe they're going to their private island, which is that one. Washi washi. Washi washi is right, baby. Nothing like some 6 a.m. breakfast, I'll tell you that. Well, this is nice. Not as crowded as we saw yesterday when we were on live stream. Laura, this is like the cruising I'm kind of used to in, in non summer months. We're backing on in to perfect day, but I have to show you guys my breakfast. If you guys know me, this is like some of the best things you can get on this cruise ship. We've got our avocado toast, our caprice, avocado toast, our hash browns, and of course, what did we both just order? Mimosas. Heck yeah. And gotta start off the day right. Some of the best avocado toast in the game. Mm. I don't see a whole lot of orange juice in this mimosa. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, that is straight champagne. It's a jugger. They really just put a splash of orange juice in here, just how I like it. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Laura, since you've never been here before? It looks really fun. It's smaller than I thought, which is kind of cool. So I'm excited to explore. It's going to be really neat. Wait till you get out there. It feels bigger, though. Trust me. It feels bigger. We've got Freedom of the Seas joining, joining us today at Coco K. Um, that's a sister ship actually to Independence. Freedom, we're in the Freedom class. This is always pretty darn cool to see another cruise ship dock. The Freedom of the Seas, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the way, comment down below, what should be my next cruise ship? 
any port in Florida I'll travel to. That's three days, three day cruise. Not really feeling a whole week cruise. We are now prepared for a perfect day. <laughs> I look like a waitress. Like, <laughs> you gotta bring your towels. Mimosas and towels. I feel like half the ship is still sleeping. It's eight o'clock and we're getting off. And this is like the earliest I've ever been off. Let's go to the beach, beach. Let's go get away. Perfect day, perfect, perfect day. day. Uh, Coco Coco K. Okay. Thank you. Off we go. It's gonna be a perfect day. Perfect day. This way. Nothing like being sandwiched in between it two beautiful royal ships. I'll do this any day. Every day. Every weekend. We'll every day. Every, weekend. every day. The ultimate perfect day here. Add Coco K. We said that like a million times. <laughs> Dick shot every time. If y'all have never been here before, you have to book a Royal Caribbean cruise just to come here. Just to come here. What were you doing with your life, Laura? I have no idea, man, but now I'm going to be here every day. Every, every weekend. Every weekend. Every week, every Friday to Monday, you'll catch me here. I mean, do I say anything else? Do I say anything else? It's just beautiful. Oh. Laura, what's that say? It's perfect dead. day. <laughs> perfect day. And go, 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 go. <laughs> It sure is. And here we go. When I wake up in my well, we're not going to be going to the Thrill Water Park. We're going to be taking to the chill side of things. And last time um, I did the same. Actually, no. Last time I think I was here, I, I went down the slide. I went down everything. I don't know. But we're going to the chill island. Oh, look at this sandcastle. Look at this. Wow. I mean, if I wonder how they protect it when it rains. Do they just redo it? Huh. It's just the views for me, too, here. But tonight is going to be even crazier this is probably gonna be like the craziest day ever they have a party called red it's like a nightclub oh my god i can't wait it's gonna be insane it's gonna be Kyle insane has been really hyping this <laughs> red club up so if it's lame i it's, swear it's not going to be <laughs> if y'all are new around here here is a look at perfect day i mean laura take a look i want to head on over this way because where the cabanas are and i've never walked over here so i want to do that as well but this is the swimming bar that i was talking about it's so much fun so much fun. This was $100 for the water park. We decided not to. We we're like, oh, we'll save the $100 and probably come back here in a week and go on that side. See you next week. See you next week. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my entire life. There's balloons, there's wave pools, there's slides, there's beaches, there's photo ops. There's so much here. Everyone come to Coco Cay. We have found a spot. It's very nice when you get here early. We have the whole beach to ourselves. You guys saw our Pactor cruise ship was yesterday. It's insane. So get here early, you get like a private beach. Ooh, a little sea shelly over here. Oh. Finally enjoying the, the ocean here after taking a million pitch, pictures for Laura on Instagram. Follow her Instagram, what's your Instagram? <laughs> it's Laura Radojevic, good luck spelling it. <laughs> We're gonna play some pool, some soccer pool. I'll break, oh no. I guess I already broke. <laughs> oh no, okay, I guess that right. counts, whatever, it's fine. I'll go. Here we go. You better go fast. Three. Oh, well, we gotta move the thing. Two, one. Well, I already made one. Oh, I made a lot. <laughs> look, at, look at me go. This is just, I, it's kind of on a hill. Oasis Lagoon is personally my favorite with the swim up bar. Let's go, to, let's go, go get a bite. I mean, a drink. Let's go get a drink. drink a get here early before the crowds get here. No crowds in the morning. No crowds. Perfect temperature too, by the way. I gotta make it a goal in my life to have a swim up bar at my pool. 
Yeah. This is super nice, but you gotta get here early, like I said, because it gets crowded. It's rowdy. I can see why. This is like a party. Got some of you guys here. You ready to drink? Where's your drink? It's, it's coming. It's oh, it's coming. coming. Okay. All right, we're good. It's we're good. Let's get a picture. Let's do it. Miami Vice. Cheers to a perfect day at Coco Stop. <laughs> All right, guys, comment down below. Would you rather be chilling at the beach or the swim-up bar? I'm the swim-up bar. I'm usually a beach person, but this bar and pool is pretty dope. It I did not amazing. just say dope. Oh, you no. just said dope? I just said dope. No, no it's pretty Oh, wow. Not dope. Wow. <laughs> not dope. Another one. Another one. Oh, good. <laughs> oh boy. We just took a little nap. It's time for food now. And Laura woke up a little tipsy. I need help, man. <laughs> Cruising, baby. A lot more people have arrived. Food doesn't start till 11, which is in like 10 minutes. I need some tacos. Since I practically got up so darn early, our schedule is all of whack. We're gonna eat, we're gonna be eating at Skip Skipper's Grill. Some tacos, hot dogs, burgers, sandwiches. We're gonna pick out. Well, I am. Made my own uh, chipotle bowl here. Oh my gosh, carnitas. This is great. Ooh, we got Laura's tacos. Steak, pork, and chicken. I'm so excited. <laughs> Any, anything else, Laura? I'm just so excited to eat. This is what cruising is all about. Eating and a boozing. Oh. Delicious. Why you don't leave a whole plate out. <laughs> Holy camoli. Rookie mistake. Mistakes were made. And then of course, we need to get a cookie. But real quick, if you know, you know. Shout out to all the UOGs. If you know, you know. <laughs> Use the tongs. Pro tip. If you like ice cream, ice cream cookie skillet, Take a bite of the ice cream and then a bite of the cookie. And there you have it. <laughs> an ice cream sandwich? No, an ice cream cookie skillet. Oh, nice. <laughs> and here's an update on the pool party. Way more crowded now. <laughs> Laura's still on another level, guys. She's living her best life. Come on board. Come on board. Come on excited. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where this is going, we're just taking it. I've actually never been on this tram. Anyone for the prime? Back to the ship we go. I think that was quite a successful morning. It's about 1 o'clock right now. We've been here since 8. Got a lot of video shot, photos. Laura got the photos. Laura's still feeling it. And uh, yeah, let's go back on the ship. There's going to be way more fun opportunities on the ship tonight. I'm or so just in general. Excited. It's the verdict though. I love this island. It is beautiful. I wish we would have went to South Beach because they have like a swim out pool bar. Next time, next week. Or a swim out ocean bar actually. Yeah, next week we'll see you next week. at the South Beach. But no, Chill Island's pretty cool. I liked it. Water park as well next time. I don't know y'all. I just feel like there's something about walking in between two ginormous cruise ships. Comment down below if you guys agree. It's a beautiful sight. <laughs> Is ours a bit bigger? Today's gonna get crazy. Uh, no. I actually don't know. Can I get up? No one's here. Get an early start and you can enjoy an empty cruise ship. The ship is all ours. I will say the hallways smell a lot better now. They don't smell like what, Laura? No more soft parts. It smells pretty good, actually. It smells great. Look at all of our pillows. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna build a pillow fort. Total of eight. It's always amazing how they get these rooms done so quick. Just booked my flight to Hawaii. <laughs> like, like what? What is, what is our life right now? I didn't announce the date, but I was surprised if you guys missed the live stream. We're going to Hawaii, more specifically Alani for the very first time. So soon, I'll have an announcement on the specific date when we're going. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> All right.
She's so demanding. Let's go get some drinks. <laughs> What's this? We're taking an elevator? <gasps> Did you see this though? Look at this. I love this place. You can come out here and enjoy the promenade. Look at this. Um, we should just get some chairs and just sit here. I just kind of like this. You see, you know what? You know what we kind of discovered right now, Laura? Honestly, like, if you think about it, I think we kind of discovered like one of the best kept secrets on Royal Caribbean ships, Royal Caribbean's private island. Like, we woke up early, enjoyed the private island basically to ourselves for a couple hours. And then we came back on the ship, and now we're enjoying the ship practically to ourselves. I mean, it's not really the best kept secret anymore just because I feel like I'm spilling it. <laughs> but I don't know, wouldn't you guys think like that's an ideal way to cruise? You get the best of both worlds, an empty private island and then an empty cruise ship. Pretty great. Especially when this cruise has been very packed, so works out in our favor. Living our best lives, but shh, but you guys know now, in a way. It's out there. Sorry. Saturday. Going up. Going <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, that That's what it sounded like. Going <laughs> up. It's not often we take an elevator. But we didn't press the button. We press the button. For rookies. We, we forgot how the elevators work. Brothers. They are, that's copyright. I'm copyright. For you. Deck 11. Deck 11. Laura needs another drink. I mean, this is pretty fairly empty for what we've kind of been experiencing this ship. Well, hot tub's empty. Do we dare to go in the hot tub? Oh. Do we dare to go get another drink? <laughs> Laura dares. Laura has been on a vibe today. Wait till you guys see her tonight at the Red Nightclub party. It's stay tuned, y'all. You are going to go tuned. ballistic. There's only one bartender, that's weird. There's Laura's drink. She got a dirty Shirley. Are you surprised? It's either this or a death. And you know what? I've been changing up my drinks here. I got a pina colada. We're, we're, we're kind of done with Long Islands, I think, for the cruise. Who knows? Never say never. Until uh, tonight. You'll say that until Club Red tonight. We're gonna head on into the Whirlpool. <laughs> Is it hot? It's really Give hot. Give it five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes, it's like 100 degrees out, we're going to the Whirlpool. Would you just take a look at that water? Unbelievable. I've got another secret for you. Here on the Independence of the Seas, and I believe also the Freedom Class, you can come to the very front of the ship. Some of the, a lot of ships that you cruise on nowadays, you can't do this, but you can do it on this ship. And as you can see, there's no one ever here. It's pretty cool. Good picture spots. Did you guys hear that? Like and subscribe. <laughs> hey Laura, can you hold this real quick? Oh. I'm double fisted. You're way behind. Come on, Laura. Uh, I'm Catch up. I am caught up. Trust me. Also, Laura, do a spin. Who are you wearing today? I am wearing Sheen. <laughs> Laura's so looking bad. great. All right, let's go. Big hint for you guys. Do not do any time dining on a summer cruise. It is not a fun experience. Don't do it. We are hungry, and we are waiting. And we even came early tonight. Very early. We'll, we'll get into what happened little, in, at, at the dinner table. We'll get into we'll, it. Just wait a second. It's really funny, but it's not funny. And in we go. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. Well, we've got quite the story. I feel like there's always an adventure when it comes to dining with any time dining with us on this cruise. Shall I tell them what happened? Yeah, it's I will good. tell you guys what happened. First of all, nice little view here. Every dinner, we uh, kind of have a story for you guys. Last night, Hot Mess Express. But today, we uh, checked in actually when you could check in for Anytime Dining. And they told us to come back in about a half hour, 45 minutes. And then we got there, and he goes, you know, your table's not ready yet. Your party of 10 can't be, <laughs> can't be sad right now. And we're like, wait, 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 what? Your party of 10? We, we have a party of two. So then we sat here and waited for about another 15 minutes to get sat because of the party of 10 mishap. But yeah, here we are. I don't know how he thought we had a party of 10. We were the only ones in line. But at least we're sitting down at a reasonable time today. Maybe if we had a couple of you guys, we'd have a party of 10 or a party of 100,000. But 
Also guys, we just hit 137,000 subscribers, so thank you for that. We're actually gonna upgrade our, uh, our uh, main selection today. We're gonna get the Surf and Turf, baby. Lobster and a Flamin' Young. We are upgrading, and probably gonna get a lot of uh, start as well, as well. You guys right now, shrimp cocktail, and then uh, we're gonna get some baked French onion soup. All right, so we started off dinner with some drinks, and uh, then we got some French onion soup, which was bomb dot calm I am <laughs> it's just like plopped on top like cheese add it French onion soup more like cheese soup how do you say you're from Wisconsin without saying you are from Wisconsin you order French onion soup for the cheese yeah the waiter was like oh how is the soup and we were like the cheese is good <laughs> then of course you guys know I had to get my shrimp cocktail it's a must. And I got another rum and coke while Laura, Lord Laura is still babying her first one. I'm slowing down. We're having red tonight and I'm pre-gaming for that. We're gonna do some green tea shots after this. Oh! Cause she's in a green dress. And our upgrade to Surf and Turf has arrived. Um, yeah, $35. Hmm. Dinner, way more success than last night. Now, bingo and then party. I'm so excited, we better win this. This is all Laura has been wanting to do. Here we go, you happy? Bingo, baby! <laughs> Let's see what we win. Bingo's expensive. 70, 60, and 50 dollars. Whoa. Alright, we won something. What is it? We shall find out. Five dollars, baby! Won we won! <laughs> Woo! I won five dollars! <laughs> <laughs> and then Kyle was recording in slow motion because he had a one too many drinks. And speaking of one too many drinks... We got another shot! Yay! For us. We ran on in to the Lucas family. We uh, met you before, but yeah. we haven't met you. I'm Suki. Suki. Hi. Thanks for watching, guys. And back. Y'all having fun? We're yes. having a great we're time. Having a great time. Hey, we're on a cruise. We had a great wild. time at Coco What Bay. could be better? I think we're going to go dancing later. Heck yeah, we are. Yeah. Well, thanks for saying hi or running into me. Yeah. We'll see you around. Can we get a picture? Here we go. Cheers to a lot of fun tonight. Last time we were on the Wonder of the Seas, there was actually a bar down on the floor. There's no bar right now, so we gotta go get a drink because we don't have one. I have one. Different. But I'm still here for it. It's red. It's, it's gonna be great. But Quick break in action. This is without doubt the most peaceful night I've actually ever had at sea. There's no waves. It is so calm. Beautiful. There is no wind. There are no waves. It's silence out here. Silence. Back to chaos. Let's go party. No! It's Sunday! She was too happy. That means we have one more day! Well, that was fun. Deck five. Deck five. <laughs> and with that, that is going to be it for y'all guys' daily dose. What a night. 
Laura's in bed. You doing okay? No. She's down for the count. I'm in a cocoon. <laughs> we just ordered some room service. We got to go. Wait, hold on. We got oh, she jumped out of bed. <laughs> she lied to us. She's got so much energy. We got chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, Chocolate cake, everybody. It wasn't the rubber duck. It was the chocolate cake this time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We've got one more cruise day, but two more vlogs to look forward to. Chocolate cake. We know what makes Laura happy. Chocolate cake. <laughs> okay, so look at the camera. I'm literally looking at the camera. Okay, I'm just telling you.